Hello guys and welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to withdraw money from Binance. It's a step by step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's get right into it. So to withdraw money from Binance is pretty simple. So first you must sign into your Binance account of course. And now you should always, I mean you should also log in and then just go to your Binance. So once you have went to your Binance, our first step is to go to our wallet. So it's located in the bottom right corner of our screen. And here you will see the balances that you have. Total BTC, total amount of cryptocurrency you have. And if you want to withdraw it, the first thing we have to do is actually transfer it. So for, from transfer, you'll have to go from spot into funding. I repeat that is from spot then you head it into funding there you go guys then you just select the cryptocurrency that you would like to transfer or withdraw so here there's a lot of there's a list so there's ADX E there's dirhams there's also local currencies here there's USDT there's Bitcoin cash there's a lot so if you want to do BUSD or Canadian dollars or whatsoever you must move it to your funding first before you do so so you can withdraw this so let's say you want dogecoin so in dogecoin there's gonna be a maximum and a minimum transfer so let's just say you want to do 100 and you do confirm transfer as you can see here i don't have any balance in my binance account right as of the moment so i cannot really show you that part so but once you has done that you just head on to funding which is located in the top right corner right here and you will see the available balances that you have as of the moment so as you can see here i'm gonna hide mine since i don't really have anything to hide actually since you know i don't really have any funds but for this to work you will see that there's our local currencies here like the the rums afghan afghani and there's a lot more so let's just say you want to convert it into us dollars or something like that so the first thing you'll have to do is go to p2p as you can see here oh wait there p2p so here in p2p you will see there's a lot of options you can do you can actually buy if you want to buy but we're, since we're, we're gonna withdraw we have to sell so as you can see here you can sell your usdt your bitcoin your, your us dollar your bnb your ethereum your xrp your slp so here we're just gonna focus on usdt i guess so here you will also see the the exchange rates and the exchange per, the person who will exchange it for you or the company that will exchange it for you for example in bitcoin you have crypto exchange ph as you can see here for busd you have your p2p verified merchant bnb ethereum and so on and so forth as you can see here in bitcoin Let's say you want to transfer your Bitcoin, you want to sell it, you want to withdraw it. So here you will have to select one. So there's going to be your exchange right here. And the merchant. And then you'll have, you see his trades right below, which is 1,389. And a completion rate of 100 minutes. And approval rate of 99.92%. And there's a, a timeout of 15 minutes before you expire the transaction so here there's also limits of how much you can transfer and so on and so forth as you can see here the highest transfer that we can see is around a million philippine pesos here it's 20,000 to a million so let's try to look for something more higher in case you wanted to do so so i don't see any as of the moment it just looks like it's the 1 million oh here you go you have swift exchange which is 2 million oh there you go wait wait let's go back to it guys so there you go you have two million one million one hundred fifty thousand, and there you go as you can see here in swift exchange they're gonna they have a minimum and maximum of amount of bitcoin you exchange with them so they have completed around 698 trades with a completion rate of 100 percent and a 99.42 approval rate and a 
timeout of 60 minutes so this is an hour so there's also another thing i want to tell you guys when you're gonna transfer it to your wallet or so and so forth first you have the filter so in the filter option you can select your amount right here so let's say you want to do 2 million and then there's also pay time limit in case you need more time on deciding or perhaps need more time on doing things that you need to do before transferring it to your or withdrawing it into your wallet so here you have also the options you can withdraw it to you have your bank transfer gcash paymaya bpi union bank alipay asia united bank bdo bank transfer and ph that's cash deposit to bank cash in person china bank cmb bank coin pay coins ph Google Time Bank, Instant Transfer, Cobo Bank, Land Bank, and many, many more. And as you can see here, you can also select the country or region that you want to select it to. So let's say you want to go Philippines, and then you want to go with BPI. So you confirm that. And they don't have any as of the moment. So just reset that. And there you go. Here you will see the limits here. There you go. In the right hand corner side of the the merchants sign you will see the available bank transfer and withdrawal options that you can do so let's try to sell one that's here so there you go here when you're selling your bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies you will see your limit and the maximum amount and the payment methods that are available here with the merchant so as you can see just bpi bank transfer say a bank metropolitan bank of the philippines then there's a payment time limit of on one hour so you want to enter your desired amount so let's just say 0 0.058 something like that and there you go then you have to select your payment method so if you want to add your payment method you have to set it up right here so usually the easiest way here in the philippines is gcash but gcash is not available here so you have metropolitan bank video bpi and bank transfer so there once you have done that you have selected your payment method you just sell the btc right there and then it will redirect you to another page where it will confirm it with you and then there you go after you have done that here in the top right corner you will see a, a page with two lines press that and you will see your order history which is pending right there so it's gonna be probably gonna take about a minute or five or ten or so for it to complete but don't worry it's gonna push through so once it has been completed to say here that it has been completed and then after that you'll have to confirm the transaction once you have confirmed it will ask you if you have received the right amount and the right the right denomination of what you have transferred and that is it probably it's just that simple so that is just how you withdraw money from Binance and that's a step-by-step -step guide on how you do it so there you go guys so also if you find this bit tutorial useful, join Binance now by signing up with the link provided in the description below to claim up to 200 USDT limited time trading fee credit reward. So now that's the end of this video. I hope you like it guys. Please subscribe and thank you for watching this video. See you again next time.